Hello, Coach McQueen again, working on core uh, training using the bands. You can see the resistance here that I'm getting. I'm feeling it in the quads and the hamstrings, the glutes, the abdominals, all at the same time. What we're going to do now is we're going to work a little bit more on drive and explosion power. Also, this is very good for your vertical, it's good for changing direction, making sure that when you explode, if you're going to explode, you're going to explode off of this right foot, or you're going to go this way, you're going to explode off of that left foot. What we're going to do first is we're going to do a side, what I call a hop over. Now, I'm going to hop with my right foot. That's my outside foot. So I'm going to come over here. Then when I'm on this side, then I'm going to explode off my left foot and drive up and come back over. Now, when you drive up, when, on that drive leg, when you push off of this foot, you're going to feel it in that quadricep, and then you're going to feel it again in the hip when you drive back. So the idea is to get your coordination down. You come over and back. Then the idea is to take about 15 seconds and go over, back, over, back, and see how many you can do in a, in a uh, 15 second period. Okay, now the second part of this drill, the hop over, is that we did the one foot. Now we're going to jump off of both feet. We're going to work on exploding, coming right through here and through here, back in your glutes, and doing it with both feet at the same time. Again, when you're playing volleyball, when you're playing basketball, anytime that you've got to jump or you've got to explode, you're going to do it from basically about this position. So we're going to get here and we're going to explode off of both, and then we're going to come back. During these drills, I don't use the arms. I want to really accentuate just the core only. So then, what you're going to do is, once you get comfortable with it, go faster and try to see how many you can do in a 15 second period. Over and back, over, back, and you'll really feel it in that core area. Okay, okay now we just worked on the one legged hop over, driving off the outside foot sideways, then we worked on the hop over with both legs at the same time, we did it laterally, now we're going to go forward. We're going to take something that's high enough that's really going to test you, and what we're going to do is we're, I'll start with my right foot, and I'm going to jump over just like that. Now you're going to feel it in this quadricep, you're going to feel it in this glute back here, and then when you come over, you're going to feel it in that hip. I start with my right, now I'm going to go with my left. And I'm going to go back, just like that. It is hard, I'm getting a little tired. Over, and then explode back. And then you want to see how many times that you can do that in a 15 second period. Over, explode up the opposite foot, and keep going. Now, the second part of that is, again, we're going to do it with both feet. We're going to get right here, what I would call a normal jump position. Over, back. You're lifting up those quadriceps, so you're having to explode. If you're a cheerleader or a gymnast and you're jumping basketball, same thing. You're having to drive your quadriceps up. Drive off the floor. That's where your power and explosion comes from. So you're going to feel it going over the quadriceps and the glutes. Over and back. Over and back. Okay. All right. Now we're the contrast is we're going to take the bands off. Your legs are going to become stronger. They're going to become more flexible. And then when you're doing these drills, you're going to see how much easier it is. Over and back. And the same thing. Over and back. Over and back. And you really develop that core strength and that core power. So when you get in the game, you're going to be able to jump higher. You're going to be faster. You can see that I'm winded right now. You're going to build up that